No, 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 not dwarfs. These are my friends, man. I want a fishing competition for these guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you don't understand. But Slayer Master told me to. Oh my god. Tin ore? What kind of drop? Oh my god. I'm not even fighting him legitimately. I just pin him behind the table and heave knives at him. Hey, 12 range. I can't be that upset. How's everybody doing? Welcome to episode 6 of... The best hardcore Iron Man ever question mark. Look at this nerd over here doing some mining. Uh, I'm also managing some mining right now, which I guess makes me a nerd. Oh god, I just trapped myself in a corner on that one. About to grab 70 mining. This is going to be my AFK content for a little while, so... Occasionally, I'm going to be throwing some mining clips in whenever... Whenever I unlock something here, or get a milestone level like 70 that I'm about to grab. Any pay dirt. There it is. 70 mining coming in hot. This unlocks Addy Ore and also, also, wait for it, 1,000 total level. Finally got that fourth digit in the total level spot, which is not too bad. Definitely been making some solid progress as of late. This episode is mainly going to be focused on finishing up a few quests, though. And if not getting quests done, it'll be some requirement for a quest. Like, it, it's really going to all revolve around quests for just a little bit. So, I think I've already, I think it was episode 4 was mostly quests. We're having another quest-based episode here. I, I don't know how many more times I can say quest in this clip. Three, two, one, next clip. Let me see them nuggies. Let me see them nuggies. Mm, four nuggies. Beautiful. Uh, I got plenty of nuggies now to buy my full prospector gear, actually. So I'm making some pretty solid progress. Look at this nerd standing in the bank. God, is, is that just my go-to? Nerd? God damn. Okay, I only needed two nuggies. Got four nuggies. Everything looks good for some full prospector. Uh, I still have to unlock... I think I need the I need the top level, the bag, uh, the bigger sack, and the gem bag. Wow, I don't even know what I have no idea what I'm doing here. Apparently, I just mine the pay dirt, I turn it into ores, and then we move on. The last moment on this account that I will have a level one. Ready? 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 How how much talking do I have to do? Come on, Kamix, what do you got for me? Come on, come on. I know how to do herbal. Thank you. 250 herbal XP. I didn't know it was four quest points for this one. That's that's kind of nice. But uh, three herb lore coming in hot. Two more total levels. I can now make attack potions. Thank God I needed them. And uh, 1046 total level. I'll take it. But uh, the, the 46 quest points kind of nice. Ava. Guess what I've got for you. Ooh, her backpack to finish up animal magnetism. Which gives me an Ava's attractor. The worst of the backpacks, but still the only backpack I can manage right now, plus a thousand crafting XP, or crafting, fletching, and slayer XP, 2500 wood cutting I'll take, and another quest point. I don't think I level up in anything. Oh no! I get 22 slayer, that's not bad. That's not bad at all, I can now kill desert lizards, hope I don't get many of them. This is a clip for when I thought I was gonna make myself some snakeskin armor, which is not gonna happen for a while. But either way, 48 crafting is good news, I'll take it. Hey, 46 hit points. We're about to begin another level in just a second. Let's finish this up. The importance about that level is the 1100 total. But more importantly, I'm about to get 1101 total. Just just, just get it. Oh, it's not going to happen right now. 1100 total in the hardcore Iron Man. And by the end of this kill, 1101 total level. 46 hit points, 45 range about to happen. There it is. Overall, ooh, I can now wield Chinchampa's... Good shit. I'm uh, making good progress. I like it. Alright, so I just got myself 60 Arcade's favor. I'm about to get 60. I don't know which person I was trying to help here. Nope. It was this person. Uh, Vilia, thank you very much for the extra mage XP in the favor. But now I have high enough favor to use the Arcade's spellbook, plus a little bit of extra mage XP never hurt. I am going to need some more mage XP because at 63 mage, I'll be able to use a Wizard's Mind Bomb, I believe, to get into the Wizard's Guild and go buy some soul runes. And the reason I just unlocked the new spell book is to use some insult heads for prayer XP. But uh, I now gotta get a go, go get a couple magic levels, whatever I'm trying to say. And then uh, I'll be moving on to a couple insult heads for some extra prayer XP. I got it! On the kill? Perfect No, not on the kill. I ruined it. I ruined it by saying it was gonna be on the kill and it was perfect timing. Whole clip down the drain. 63 mage coming in hot. 
I can now charge fire orbs, finally. All right, so I got like 23 and sold heads from hill giants, uh, hill giants and fire giants. A few from fire giants when I was trying to get my rune skimmy. But finishing up all those sold heads gave, gave me 38 prayer. Didn't know I was gonna level on the final one. I can now, I'm up to protect from magic, which is nice. Only a couple levels from missiles. And then the melee is uh, at 43, of course. So currently to go ahead and use the Ecto Functus for the rest of my bones, I'm gonna have to do a quest. Which quest do I have to do right now? Ghost Ahoy. And here comes the end of Ghost Ahoy. That means I can now use the the Ecto Functus or whatever. And I also get some prayer XP for that one. This should give me, it looks like it just got me a prayer level, which is always good news. Let me see it, let me see it. Oh, feels good, man. And with these last four bone meal, I now can grab 43 prayer, which means I can use all of my overhead protect prayers, which is kind of big. Overhead protect. Like, there isn't an overhead protect. Anyways, I can, I can use my protect from melee range and mage now, which is going to be huge for some quests. Not necessarily the one I'm about to do, but in general, it's going to be a pretty big deal. I go grab protect from melee and then immediately fight a boss that they drain your prayer down to like two points. Uh, luckily, this is a safe spot of a boss. Uh, the Lost City is not a very difficult quest by any means. This was like, this wasn't sketchy at any point. Going into this fight, I was a little nervous because I, I don't know, just, I guess it's kind of natural knowing that I only have one life, by the way. But it turns out it's a super easy fight like every other time I've done it, so I got through it no problem. The Bronze Axe didn't take too long from the zombies, and now I can go finish up the quest. All I have to do is enter the shed, I believe, to enter the quest. I, it's like I've never done this before. I'm pretty sure I did this on Floods like two months ago or something. Anyways, three quest points, access to Xanris. Uh, I can now go buy a Dragon Dagger in here, which is pretty killer. But uh, for now, more quests. Speaking of Floods, shout out to my man for helping me out with uh, finishing up Shield of Arav here. I've now gained myself 600 coins to go spend on anything I please. He can head up to a 13 max. Oh shit, my prayers are run out quickly. Just get over here quick. Okay. Apparently, this will work. Remember, don't die. That is some advice right there. Wow, nice. Nice work on that. Hmm. He's dead. Mm! Get out of here. Well, that was pretty fucking simple. This is it's kind of a big deal, huh? Have we slayed the dragon? Yes, I have slayed the dragon. Here's the juicy head. Oh, this is nice. The, the dragon rune plate bodies are great once I finally get them. Two quest points means I have enough for a hero's quest. And this was the last quest I needed to do for hero's quest. And also, this strength and defense XP is going to give me like six levels in each. Uh, I don't need to buy one right now. I mean, I can afford it. Why not? Oh, because you don't have 40 defense. I have 38 strength and... 39 defense. Nice. So I got seven levels in each of them? No, eight. I was 30 and 31. There we go. Take him out. Take him out. Oh, what the fuck? Put your steel knives on, you, you fool. God, take him out. There we go. Let's try it again. Can't dig up with anything attacking me. There's nothing attacking you. Relax. Give it me. Come on. There it is. Two quest points. One eyed Hector's treasure chest. And then, you know, some, some shit from crumbs and whatnot. Hey, what's in the fucking chest? What's in the fucking box? Mr. Nature's spirit, sir. I have defeated all of the ghasts. And... Apparently, this Nature's spirit quest. Uh, all this XP was like half of what I needed to get a level, so I'm pretty close in HP, defense, and crafting now. But two quest points is nice, and I could do... Uh, fairy tale part one now, which is gonna be nice for some farming XP. You guys think this is funny? Can't get an edible seaweed drop to save my life. I don't know, I see how it is, you know? You know what? Whatever. It didn't even bother me. I'm about to get it right here. Ready? Here we go. Oh, it's seaweed. It's ah, oh! it's regular seaweed. <laughs> Oh, what a clip.
Hey, can I just get my farming XP port for Warfare? Godfather, please. Please. Woo! Woo! Okay. Two quest points, 3,500 XP in farming, and then, you know, XP and other stuff that doesn't matter. Give me the farming level. This is the big one. 18 farming. I didn't know exactly what I was getting to. Could have calculated it. Didn't care that much. 18 is nice. I'm not gonna lie. 25 herb lord coming in hot. This is my last requirement for- Oh, I can now clean my Ronars. Nice. Wait. Anyways, uh, this is my last requirement for, uh, for D Hero's Quest, not Dragon Slayer. Dragon Slayer is one of my requirements, so Hero's Quest is what I'm doing next. How you doing? Um, I have all the items that you asked me to get. I've done it! Spread out some XP. I'm about to get a couple of various levels, I believe, but one quest point access to the Hero's Guild. Hero's Quest done, 62 quest points, making good progress. What levels do I get from this? 40 strength, I like 40 strength. 40 defense, I like that even better. I can now wear rune armor. Anything else? Wow, I would have never guessed. Anything else? 51 hit points, nice. 41 attack, I'm getting a bunch of combat levels. 26 herb lore. I can make energy potions, that's good. 49 smithing, this is, this is, this is fucking fun. I can make, you know, that stuff. Look at all these levels. There it is, sweet. Didn't go to the meeting, just finished up the quest for two quest points and any levels and anything. Hey, 50 crafting, not too bad, not too bad. And I'm like Ruby Amulets, oh boy. And that's 1175 total level, hey, not too bad at all. That's pretty good progress. 64 quest points is nice. Now I can do the forgettable tale. The end of this quest is so sad. It really is that you just forget everything that happened and, oh, I mean, I know the name of the quest. I've seen the title, it all makes sense, it adds up. That doesn't mean it's not sad though real. Uh, that is the Forgotten Tale of a Drunken Dwarf complete, I believe, or excuse me, the Forgettable Tale. Well, it is the Forgotten Tale now, to be fair. Uh, 5k farming XP is gonna be pretty big for some levels. Let's see what this puts me at. <clears throat> 26 farming. Feels good, man. Uh, let's move on to... I don't know what quest I'm doing next. I Honestly, I never plan these things out, apparently. Recently, we just finished up a court mass that during the court mass, I was doing some other load mine, and I passed 200 gold nuggets, which means I guess I only needed 200. I have to go back, put some in the bank. But when I try to go, I already have the the upstairs section. That's not what I'm locking. What? Oh, can't even speak English right now. What is going on? Just give me the sack, man. You know what I want. I want that sack. Thank you. We have a larger sack now. It's what I've wanted my whole life. Is a bigger sack, and apparently I'm only 90 nuggets away from a gem bag. Just saying. The creature of Frankenstein completed. It doesn't matter how many times I do Garden of Tranquility, every single time it is garbage. It's kind of a crappy quest, I'm not going to lie to you. Two more quest points and 5k farming XP. I can never really complain at the end of the quest if I manage some farming XP like that. This will get me another couple of levels. Let's see what it is here. I'm going to guess 31 farming, por favor. Probably should just do the math. 30 farming, rip. Thank you very much for, uh, for the farming XP though. I will take 30 farming and the growing of some willow trees that it will not be happening soon. <laughs> I recently switched over to woodcutting as my AFK content. Uh, I was getting a little bit bored of Motherload Mine. I made some pretty good progress in there. I just managed 76 woodcutting though, and as you can see, 1200 total level, which is kind of nuts because I'm pretty sure one of the very first clips of this episode was the 1000 total level at Motherload Mine. That's crazy. Progress has been awesome this episode. Quests definitely are worth doing. Okay, so I just got a bird's nest, and for, the, for those who are unable to read, it did say that I got a magic tree seed out of this bird's nest. I did want to mention that also earlier today here at the Woodcutting Guild, I got my first U seed from a bird's nest. So um, even though I do have some tree seeds from Winter Todd, the Woodcutting Guild is treating me nicely. And I just grabbed 80 woodcutting. Thank you very much. Uh, this is definitely a lot nicer of an AFK skill than Motherload Mine. So I'm probably going to hang out at woodcutting for a little while, but uh, I'll take it 80 woodcutting. Yet another quest complete, Tower of Life all done, uh, the thousand construction XP, it's probably getting me a couple levels, yeah, 22, but that's not that big of a deal, construction's pretty quick. The quests never end, enlightened journey complete, I have no idea what XP I get here, uh, a little bit of farming, you would think I'd look these things up beforehand, but uh, no, I don't pay any attention apparently. Some crafting XP too, thank you very much. Earlier in this episode, I had a clip of me getting crafting levels to, to make some snake hide armor, some sna snake skin armor, excuse me. I had been spending a lot of time hopefully getting a cabin fever done to go get that snake hide, and it turns out you can just get it from these bush snakes. I, the more do you know, man. Alright everybody, final quest and final clip of the episode. This will be the jungle potion completed. 
Uh, made some really solid progress quest-wise in this episode, so I really can't complain. Though I'm not a huge fan of quests, so I'm kind of ready to move on. Uh, next episode, probably moving a little bit more towards some Slayer-based stuff. Uh, overall, I don't have a great plan for it right now. Everything I'm doing is slowly making my way towards some Barrows runs currently is what I'm hoping for, but we will see. That's going to wrap up this episode, though, everybody. I really do hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. <laughs>